Ms. Sauber, done a great job. I have a message for them. Ah, you have Ms. Sheikh Mohammed Ali on top of Sheikh Mohammed Ali. Sheikh Mohammed Ali. Top of the job. I have a message for the men here today. You ready for it? Yes. If you keep promising loving your wife 24-7, remember today is 24-7. <laughs> all right? Just to remind you. By all means, I'm very thrilled, very happy to be around here tonight in this lovely, casual, family-oriented in a way. Fun. Wonderful, beautiful, marvelous night is going to be. It depends all on you. Why you are here today? We are here to celebrate the completion of a successful three days in a row. We started with over 100. Yesterday we almost reached 300. And today we have over 100 to celebrate together the success of the 11th annual Sustainable Development Conference. I'm very happy thrilled because we have over 13 representatives or 13 countries represented in see, whom they have flown all the way from different parts of the world to be part of this lovely function, which by itself, it gives us a reason of keep moving and produce a bit of services and a bit of knowledge for tomorrow. We have a representative who flew all the way from Africa, flying almost eight to nine hours to each year. And we have from the extreme west, as far as France and, and UK, traveling all the way to be part of this lovely thing, function. So thank you. And in UAE, you know where it sits in the middle of the world, that's the beauty of UAE. So coming to Africa, coming from, we have to stop here. So it became a destination. Not for a stopover used to be, but a destination for knowledge now. And this is what we want it to be always. Knowledge is power if, if applied and shared. So knowledge has no value, no power, if you don't apply it and if you don't share it with others. And this is what we've been trying to tell for the last 11 years now. Please use this beautiful power within you called the knowledge. And never, never underestimate the who you are, the person you are. The person you mean to do something different to this world. You are a very unique person. And you are unique. Because Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wanted to create you very unique. Even your mom does not have your fingertips. You're totally different than his, different than the parents, different than the father, different than the sister, the brother. Because you're unique, you're a masterpiece to him. You wake up in the morning and you start looking at the mirror. Please don't see the negative side of you, as most of us uh, try to look. Start to look at the body, the belly, the shape, whatever in the body, and try to criticize yourself. No, wake up in the morning and say, hey, buddy, I really love you for being with me. I love you as a buddy. You've been doing great job. You've been carrying me. And I love you so much. <coughs> Start to look at the real you in the mirror. Don't give yourself more than what you des deserve to as a person. So don't go to the two extremes. This is one. And when you wake up in the morning, Wake up with this and try it tomorrow. Will you promise me here? See? Latif, where are you? Are you still serving dinner tonight? Or I see now that if you don't answer, 
No dinner. Right? So he gave me a promise? Yeah. All right, thank you. Because he keep giving me promises for the last 11 years. Anyway, thank you. When, we, when you wake up tomorrow, you have one telephone for the Rasul, you know? Can you pick it up? Yeah? We'll do the Rasul, the first one will go. All right. Yeah, ladies, you just can't see it. I'm afraid it's not. When you wake up tomorrow morning, the first thing you say, thank you. Pick up someone in the mind. It could be your God, the way whom you believe, your faith. It could be your parents, your mom, your dad. It could be your mate. It could be your servant. It could be one of your employees. Wake up with this. The first thing you try to say in the morning, tomorrow, thank you. And say to your full emotion, you really mean it. Believe me, see how the day is going to turn out to be. It will be a different day. And you have given a promise. And it's very bad to break promise, right? So keep that promise, please, for tomorrow. This is one. The second, what we've been trying to say and to teach over the years now here, is a please, have your focus back. Have your focus back. The problem with most of us, and I'm one of them, that we think in two extreme directions. We think in the past, something probably good or bad, but this is something history. And just as they say, past is past, just past. You just can't do much about it. So it's, it's a history. You can recall lessons, you can learn from it, but you can't do much, unfortunately, about it. It's very pathetic because you keep living part of you in that direction. The second part of you is living something for the future. Tomorrow, day after, right after this program, What's happening in your eyes has got two three directions and you become, sorry to say it, but you become blind to what's in front of you. You don't see it. You don't enjoy it. I just can't go to the movie because I have to catch a flight tomorrow morning. I just can't take my family for a picnic because there's a business deal coming up. I just can't do that because I wake up at this, at this time in the morning tomorrow. So we're living in the two extremes. Two different time zones. So what's happened to our mind? Our mind has become so lousy now. That's why nowadays our mind loves to complicate things. Things are not easy nowadays. Things are so much complicated. Because we're living in two different time zones. The mind loves to do that. So the, fear, the, the way forward to call, recall that a very, very powerful tool which does not need your wife, your husband, your spouse, or whomever related, that, that, that very, very close sight to you. To help you out with it is right here, your heart. If you can capitalize and recall your heart to give you a little direction, then don't hesitate. Please recall him. Give him a chance. Listen to your internal voice. <coughs> your heart wants to speak, but you're not giving him a chance. This is the problem with most of us. But you're giving too much chance to the mind. I have to finish the budget. I'm ready to spend 14 hours in a row. I have to meet the sales target. I have to travel and do so and so. I have to write my marketing strategies. I have to do so. So your mind is so much lousy, and you're telling your heart, shut up. You are not here to speak or to lead me. So you're leaving everything on the mind. And this is what we say. You need to lead with mind. Yes, we need the mind. But never underestimate or leave the heart behind. We need the heart to be part of the process, part of the system. The third thing made me so much excited 
is that we have more than five different universities, whether local, regional, and global, who are participating with us over the last three days. And to me, that was just like a dream earlier. Because we practitioners, we are living the real world. We are in the, in the, in the dancing floor. We are in the battle zone. Those guys are sitting at the corner somewhere at the universities, doing research from the computer, from the lab, and they don't know what's happening outside the wall. So when you have the theoretical, which is the universities, and the practical, working together, you're bridging the gap. So your sustainability movement will be faster, much quicker, because you're engaging the theoretical and engaging the real world, the practical people together. So when you have them together, the difference can be created and can be created faster than we thought of earlier. So if we really want to do a change in the world, remember that you are the person the world is waiting for. Right? Give yourself that inspiration, please. Say, yes, I can do it. I can make a difference. But what you need? You need a quiet time. Not only quality time, I'm not saying quality time. Because you may find quality time, but very difficult to find quiet time. Quiet time when you're with yourself in a very authentic way. And you start to talk to yourself. And you allow every piece of you to speak about you. And you become a smart. You know why we keep a smartphone and a phone? Have you ever asked yourself why? If I give you a phone now, and you know the, 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 the value of that phone, let's say it's, it's a Samsung or Apple, right? you want me to stop here? This is for singing, only singing. This is, this is a TV here. So you guys will be on TV, all of you. Be careful, right? All right. All right. But still, too late, I'm just finished. Can I have to, do I have to repeat everything back again? All right. What, another TV here? Mashallah. Can you bring one more? Can you bring CNN, please? <laughs> CNN is missing a BBC. So that will, will make it more. Excellent. Do you have more? No? But thank you. All right. Okay. They are in position now. I look like evil light in this way. <laughs> you need to remind me where did I stop now? Come on. But I am alive now on TV, so whatever. Millions of people probably watching. All right. So uh, the point I'm trying to make here is not about the quality time. It's about the quiet time. And it's about being smart. If I give you the phone, I remember now, come on. I remember, Mr. TV. All right, if I give you this phone now, brand new one, I said, hey, would you buy this? I said, yes. How much you ask for? I said, it's only 100 dollars. What? You couldn't me? No, I'm not kidding you. I pay even a thousand dollars for it, not even a hundred dollars. This is, look at this phone. This is the most people are queuing for this. The latest iPhone, let's say. You see, no, but there's a trick here. The phone is brand new, beautiful, but there's a trick here. That's why I'm sending you at the handler dinner. What is it? And see, you know, the phone does not have a software, and you cannot run it. Would you still get a handler dinner for it? I, I would pick no, because you just can't use it. So the same thing, we as a human, we have the physical us, the body, the eye, how we look. But there's another person living with us, the unseen person, the intangible person within us, your soul, who sits in, and nobody sees that, not even the close ones to you. And if you can have that love and the harmony between the real you and the person lives with you in, and they help each other, then you create something called a diamond. 
You know, he always says, ladies love diamonds. But by the way, it's not only the ladies. I am a petroleum engineer, so we petroleum engineering people, we love diamonds. NASA would remind you. The drilling pit, you cannot drill down to the earth, to the ground, without having diamond on the drilling pits. The teeth of it, to be able you to go down. But diamond is created when the element of carbon, this a carbon from there, but they were able to create that love harmony and keep themselves closeness. Then they create that one of the most solid and the most expensive metal in the globe. And this is what we're trying to, to do here. So please love yourself, love the community you are working for, and never, never give up. Please never give up. I'm sure over the last three days, we've been repeating, repeating all of us the same language, the language of sustainability. And we have given you a set of almost 17 goals, including some of my goals, so it was stretched to 21 goals. And I'm sure somehow, somewhere, you have done something good in that goal, one of them at least. So remind yourself that you can do it. You are contributing to the sustainability. So share it with your kids. Share it with your community. And tell them, let's do something together. It's not about speaking. It's not about preaching. There's a big difference between saying, knowing, and doing. There's a big difference. It's not a matter of say something or carry on with something. It's about executing, doing it. That's the main thing. I'm sure, as I said, and keep promising you, it's going to be such a lovely, beautiful night tonight. And we have a couple of good programs. Am I right? All right, so should I say goodbye, Shut up here? All right, I am shutting up here. Thank you very much. Thank you, His Excellency Dr. Rashid Ali. A truly one inspiring person and someone to follow it.